Over the last 12 months, I've built a ton of projects using different AI coding tools like Bolt, Replit, Lovable, Cursor, VO, and Bolt was actually the first AI coding tool that I started using, but I've since moved away from it because there's some things that really bothered me that I didn't like that other tools do much better. I'll touch on what those are in a little bit. Also walk through some of the things I think Bolt do a pretty good job of. So you can make an informed choice as to whether this is the right tool for you and what you might be able to expect if you use a different tool instead. One of the things that we'll do in this video is we'll look at the same prompt across a few different AI coding tools. So you can see how the results vary. First though, I thought it might be interesting just to see an example of what is possible to build inside Bolt. So this is one of the, the main projects that I built in Bolt. This is a VO2 max calculator website, basically just a ton of data. So we've got every, diff every different uh, VO2 max score and charts. We've got calculators, we've got VO2 max watch reviews. Um, obviously the, the actual content doesn't really matter so much, but the fact that this was possible to build, pretty impressive and um, I was pretty happy with it. So a few things that I did really like about Bolt. Firstly, it's incredibly easy to use. It's not intimidating if you've never worked with code before. It's very accessible, it's very easy to use. Also, the integrations with Netlify and Superbase um, work really well, GitHub as well. So connecting stuff to a database is reasonably seamless, not quite as seamless as some other tools I'll touch on, but the Netlify one is really good. This is important because it means you can deploy your website or your app to Netlify, which is free to use, uh, or at least starts free, and you can get it up and running pretty quickly. So that's pretty important, particularly people who um, are maybe new to coding. However, lots of cons. So the first one is it gets pretty buggy quite quickly. So with this website, I spent a huge amount of time and a huge amount of credits trying to debug and it gets to a point. So the first, this is generally the case with most AI coding tools, but the first sort of say 50 or 100 messages that you, you send, you get this huge sense of momentum and progress and it's building what you want. You then hit this wall where the code is so bloated and so complex that you run into many bugs and little mistakes. An example would be like, if you just ask it to change a title or something, something that should be really simple, it just loses its mind and starts doing weird things or breaking other sections of the website. That's a real issue in Bolt and something that I kind of, I got to a point where it was so unwieldy that I had to download the code and start using um, a different tool instead. So that for me is the biggest kind of deal breaker. I find Bolt is fine for the initial bit, but you get to a point where it becomes pretty cumbersome quite quickly. The other point which I touched on slightly there is credits. So. Bolt has a, has, a, has a credit system and I found, find myself constantly running out of credits and having to upgrade my account. And I think at one point I was spending, I think I was on the $500 a month plan um, just to kind of unlock credits to be able to complete a project. So I don't love that. Some of the other um, AI coding tools, you just pay like a flat monthly fee and you get unlimited um, uh, back and forth with the, uh, with the tool, which I much prefer because then you're not having to kind of constantly upgrade. So I don't love that. And the other, the other aspect is it's quite tricky by default to make things built in Bolt look great. This is obviously a bit subjective, but I'll show you an example. So I took a prompt to build a Hyrox race analytics tool and I popped it into Bolt and it built me this, which is fine. It looks like it's using a kind of uh, like bootstrap framework, but nothing too special. I took the same prompt and popped it into Lovable, and we got this. Now this immediately to my eye looks a lot more modern, a lot more kind of uh, slick, and it's interactive. I can pop in a race URL and I get these really nice graphs. We've got micro animations. Um, this is also technically and um, functionally quite impressive. Like the, the data that it's displaying and how useful this is um, significantly outweighs what we're seeing here, which is pretty, pretty basic. So that's just a kind of a side-by-side -side, um, comparison. Um, Lovable, I've created another video, which you can watch here, which goes into a bit more detail about some of the things that I like, some things I dislike about Lovable. But Lovable is one of my two go-to vibe coding tools. I like Cursor, which is one of the ones that runs locally. So if you're a bit more technically proficient, you're comfortable with code, Cursor I find is, the benefit of Cursor is that you don't hit that kind of bloat um, as as early. 
um, and the code is a lot more manageable. But the downside with cursor is you do need to be a little bit more comfortable with the code. If you're a beginner and you want something like Bolt that is kind of very intuitive, you don't need to know or be familiar with, with code, I would in most circumstances recommend Lovable. Those are my two go-to tools. I use Lovable for quite a few things and then I use Cursor for more complex projects. That said, I the most complex thing that I have Vibe coded, which is an entire golf uh, booking platform, this thing, so booking tee times for a uh, golf course. This has got uh, email automation, we've got reporting, we've got CRM, we've got user authentication. All of this was built inside Lovable as well. So Lovable is one of my favorites. It makes it very easy to make things look good. It's a direct competitor to Bolt. And there aren't many things that I feel Bolt do a better job of than Lovable. One difference is that Lovable has quite a prescriptive tech stack. So Lovable tends to build everything in React and Vite, um, whereas Bolt has a little bit more flexibility, I believe. There's pros and cons to that. It means that Lovable is less buggy because it's kind of got its guardrails, whereas Bolt has a bit more flexibility um, to use different, uh, different frameworks if it chooses. So that's kind of my general feeling at the moment. Obviously, this, this space moves very, very quickly, so things um, might change as new models emerge. But in general, I much prefer Lovable and would recommend that if you're kind of vibe coding using a browser um, UI, but Cursor as a local option if you're a bit more technically proficient. Hope that's useful. Any questions that you have about Bolt or any of these different uh, vibe coding tools, drop them in the comments and hope that's been useful. Cheers.